Uh, do want to ask about some of the crises that we're seeing around the country. You look at inflation continuing to be a growing problem. Uh, we had in our committee uh, the Federal Reserve Chairman, Mr. Powell, uh, just a few days ago talked about the concerns with you know, 5% inflation. We continue to see whether it's gasoline prices, double-digit increases, everything we buy at the grocery, you're starting to see larger increases in costs for grocery items, housing, if you're just trying to, to buy a house, to renovate your house, those costs are higher. If you want an appliance, you might have to wait six months. Uh, much of that is because of the labor shortage. Every small business you talk to says the biggest impediment they have to getting their businesses back up again is that the federal government is paying people more money not to work than to go back to work. When you have millions of job openings, it doesn't seem to make sense that we're allowing uh, people to be paid not to work when businesses are trying, struggling to get back on their feet from this pandemic. So I don't know if there's an anticipation to bring legislation to start confronting some of those problems. Clearly, we see the vice president at the border today. Uh, while she's not at the areas of the border where you see the biggest increases in illegal crossings, we know that there is a, a crisis in the United States. Uh, and it's not just people in South and Central America coming across. We're seeing people from Middle Eastern countries. There have been people on the terrorist watch list that are coming. Uh, I hope that as she comes back from that trip, hopefully she's met with Border Patrol agents, people that have told us what the problems are. The president could address all of this today by reversing some of his executive actions that have opened the border. But if he doesn't, I hope Congress would look at bringing legislation to confront a lot of those challenges that I talked about. 